In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the microset software to display the condition of an escape wheel. Clip the acoustic sensor to the clock frame near the escapement. Adjust the level control on the low side, but high enough to get reliable triggering on every beat. Select the time mode and press the minus key to reduce the number of beats measured until you get down to one beat. Then go one step below one and it should show time one skip. This means that microset will measure one beat, then skip the next. Since the escapement has two pallets that take turns striking the escape wheel, if you skip every other beat, you'll measure the time it takes for one pallet to strike each escape wheel tooth one after the other. If the teeth are evenly spaced, each measurement will be the same. Press begin to start the measurement and confirm that the microset LED blinks reliably and new readings appear on the LCD screen. Make sure microset is plugged into the computer for running the software. Launch the microset program on the computer. Click on the plot on button to start capturing data and data will begin to appear in the graph. Now we want to scale the graph to fit the data. I'll click on the auto scale icon which makes the data fit the graph. Each vertical line represents one reading. Each reading is the time between one escape wheel tooth and the next. Some lines are taller than others. This means the escape wheel teeth are not perfectly spaced. As the data develops, you see that there's a pattern of tall and short lines and the pattern repeats. Each repetition is one rotation of the escape wheel. If one tooth is especially out of place, it'll stand out dramatically in each cycle. In this clock, we don't see any dramatic standouts. Individual lines represent the spacing of individual teeth. The wave-like cycle represents how the escape wheel is mounted off-center or is out of round. The vertical scale should always be considered in microset graphs. You can make any clock appear great by decreasing the vertical scale, and you can also make it look terrible by zooming in to higher magnification. For this measurement, Use the auto scale icon to fit the data on the screen and watch for individual teeth that are wildly different. The clock I'm measuring is a restored Seth Thomas Model 89. It's in good shape, but it's not a precision clock. The amount of variation in this escape wheel is not uncommon and probably does not require work. If you perform this measurement a few times, you'll get a feeling for the amount of variation in different clocks.